class. This is a guide video for the work example one. So before we even begin, let's take a look at the drawing and analyze what can be removed initially so that we can focus on the main shape of the item here. So as usual, we will ignore all those, the fillet, those smaller cutouts of uh, or extrusion, okay, this fella here. And with that, once we remove the holes, the fillet is uh, cut out, we will be left with somewhat an, a, a flip over L shape design. So this will be our shape that we will be creating from. All right. So let's go in, let's head over to the Autodesk Inventor 2020. Click new. Under metrics matrix folder, double click on standard mm.ipt. All right, so first step, go to the model browser, under the origin folder, expand it further, click on YZ plane, press down the shift key, and left click the XY plane. This will select all three planes, right mouse click, and show visibility. This L shape will be on this the X plane. So go to the bottom of the X plane, left click once and click create sketch. line from this origin projected origin point we will draw a rough inversion and we end it here next size of the dimensional constraint so click on dimension enter feet the full length it's 100 The height of this step is 20, and the last height is actually 50. Double check and show all your sketches uh, black ink or dark ink. And with that, you can finish sketch and press true. Upon clicking true, Inventor will automatically select and close profile. All right, so profile has been selected. They have also automatically selected your uh, where it's supposed to begin from. So the distance here will be 60. 60. And this is like it to be symmetry about the, the, the X, Y, B. So click on symmetry and press. Let's do the cutout here. Okay, we have 40 and 30, the basic shape of it, and the location of the this rectangle is 10 mm away from it. Okay, and for this side, vertical height, we assume that they are symmetry about this sentence. So that's the reason why we extrude equally both sides uh, using symmetry extrusion. So go to this top plane. F1 and select the last icon on the right, create sketch. Okay, double middle mouse to zoom in automatically. Let's rotate our view slightly. Rotate to travel. Oh, I got it wrong. Let's rotate another two times, 180 degrees downwards. Let's rotate. Check that it's quite shaped. Right, good. Click on top view again on the view cube. And by sketching our rectangle. So click on rectangle here. Roughly, everything is rough uh, sketching. And after that, we will apply dimensions. So click on dimension into here. 40, 40, 30. And from there, 
your list and will be there. So whenever you see a green, it means it's not fully constrained. So to understand what kind of constraint, what kind of dimension you need to apply after this, is actually this we just left it, drag it start. Okay. It is we need to apply a C3 constraint about this center. So, do so project geometry over here and click the symmetry constraint, the outermost lines first, and select a line of symmetry. We have the full constraint sketch. Finish sketch, click extrude, set the profiles, and this time we will do a cut boolean. And the cut operation will be all throughout the whole piece because of this hidden. Once we are with the view, that's okay. Let's preview it further. Let's do the small cut at the front. So select this, select the last icon on the right to create a new sketch. Okay, this time we're creating a rectangle 20 by 10. So click on rectangle, select here, or to here. Now dimension it 20 and 10. Again, we can apply it to or we can also apply coincident constraint. Okay. So this time the coincident constraint you are point of the new rectangle that you have just run and to the point of this projected line. So click coincident. Let's zoom a little bit. You will notice there's two green dots, okay? One belonging to the projected maroon color line and one belonging to the newly created rectangle line. Once and click the second green dot. Okay, with that, we have fully constrained everything here. Finish sketch, extrude. This time, it will only cut until the surface. So let's up the cut operation. And for distance, we'll get the two. This end. This surface. Let's preview shape and once we have it, that with this, the reason why I do this is pause. Let's study this center mark itself. This circular feature, the hole, is actually concentric to this fillet. So by doing the fillet first, we can actually reuse that circular reference point of fillet to create our whole fillet. So now click fillet. We will use the full round fillet function here by clicking on the bottom uh, option here. Now select the side face number one. The center face will be here. And Will be the opposite side of the face. Notice that I do not need to rotate the view. If you just fully hover your mouse, you will be able to see a preview of the other side, other of the face. Left click on us and look up for it. It looks good. So let's press the OK button. Actually, I mean, 20 and it goes through all the way. And at the same time, carrying and it's concentric, uh, the, the fill itself, full fill. So, on position, we select this, this as a starting plate and this curvature as a reference. With that, 
once you apply to selection, we will position the starting point of the hole to be concentrate to that radius there, the full there. Now we apply true all submission and the little of it we will change it to 20. Press enter to apply the hole. Okay, that completed our work example one. Happy.